In this episode, I hop around upon the surface of Gilly. The EVE 1 maps both Gilly and EVE, and I try to finagle a fuel and communication starved lander safely to the surface of EVE. All of this and more is coming up right now. So last episode we had put these two probes in orbit about Gilly. One of which had three landers, two for Eve and one for Gilly. But I discovered after the capture, it only had 184 meters per second left. And that's a problem because I still had to get these two landers down into Eve's atmosphere. But I just had a thought. I just put down the Gilly lander. It has now 206 meters per second of delta. What if I lose one of these landers? These landers ain't light. Maybe, maybe I can squeeze enough to get to Eve? I don't know. So we're gonna ditch one of these landers right now. So we're gonna decouple that node. So there is one of my trash cans. Now how much still, still 200, why is it still 206 meters per second? I just lost a ton of mass, did I not? No, oh, okay. I'm gonna go with Kerbal Engineer, which says now 268 meters, but I still don't think that's, that's still not enough to get. Let's see. According to Kerbal Engineer, I have 268 meters per second. So if I put that in there, there it is. And now adjust the timing so it makes more sense. I'm not abandoning this idea yet. And here's why. That's about it. So, this 268 meters per second that this says I have doesn't get my periapsis down into Eve's atmosphere, which is what I'm going to need. But, if I wait until my Gilly has reached its apoapsis, so out around here somewhere, and then tried this, this should be cheaper. I'm not sunk yet. I'm gonna, I'm convincing myself I'm not sunk yet. I'm, I might be sunk, I don't know. We are not at Gilly's periapsis yet, but if I get orbital information, here I go. Orbital information about Gilly, I don't have. To, yeah, like it gives you stuff like it's, why does it give you stuff that you don't really care about? Like the mass of Gilly and what its surface... I don't care what its surface area is. But I don't get things like its orbital period. <sighs> so I'll have to look that up. Okay, look it up. So the orbital period of Gilly is just shy of 18 days. So if I set myself an alarm, just a general alarm for nine days in the future, by then we should be in around here-ish somewhere and try and see if I can get a cheaper, if I can even get close to Eve's atmosphere, there might be enough Delta V in that lander to, to drop me down. So, all right, what about this lander? Let's go to the lander. Um, oh, it has, again, it's powered by monopropellant. I mean, I could, it has a useless parachute on it, but I could, theoretically, probably put this down on Gilly. <laughs> so it's not completely useless, let's see. Okay, we'll move this away, there we go. I could detach this, is that clear? Whoa, actually that, um, that heat shield came really close. <laughs> Ah, uh, shoot. Well, it gave me a free boost in the right direction, anyway. Oh, oh, we're going down. Figured I'd take advantage of that little bump. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are we coming down? Sure, why not? We'll try and land in the dark here. In this little shadowy little valley. Hopefully that's a different biome. Whoa, so we're going to take something that's meant to land on Eve and we're going to see if we can put it down on Gilly is we still are not going to get a signal. Yeah, why not? Why not indeed? Deploy those primary bays. Okay, I'm really proud of, by the way, the whole design of this thing. Like the landing legs go out. I love that, how everything was tucked in there. Everything was handled by smart parts. So I'm going to have to disable these smart parts. 
but there should be a communitron in here. Oh, there it is. Extend that. All of this extendable stuff was all designed to be extended by um, smart parts as we descended through Eve's atmosphere because clearly you'd want this closed and everything tucked away uh, to protect it as it's going down. But as we're putting it down on Gilly, it really doesn't matter. Uh, auto, we can turn everything on. Atmos it has an atmosphere. Okay. There are things that are irrelevant, like an atmospheric pressure scan now is irrelevant. All right, let's 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 time warp. Okay, this is Midlands right here. Okay, we are over Midlands right now, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this right here, right now. Let's do it. Put this on surface, won't make that same mistake again. We're going to kill off our horizontal speed and go straight down from here. Oh, I still like this thing. It's like landing R2-D2. What's this surface like? Just, <laughs> just snuggle up to this. Okay. Oh, the reaction wheels are holding it. <laughs> The reaction wheels were holding its attitude after it touched there. So I'm just going to let it kind of fall down slowly. I do want to kind of control it. I'd like it to stay standing. It would be sweet. Oh, oh. Of course, I could just leave the reaction wheels on. It just feels stupid with the reaction wheels on. Is that just me or... like to get all four of those pads just touching the surface. Is it going to stay there? I think it is. Yeah, I don't think we're sliding down or anything. I think we're good. And I'm just taking my hands away. I'm happy with that. Okay, uh, electric charge is still on. We should be collecting all kinds of stuff from the Midlands. I'm super duper happy. Well, I'm not super duper happy because there's obviously some... But, it's a different biome again, another seismic sea. Eventually, this is going to be a lot of... Si it's fallen over. It's fallen over. You know what? I'm going to let it sit on its side. It's like a slow motion crash. Collecting all kinds of data. Is the electricity still good? Electricity is still perpetual here, so that's fine. I think I'm just going to leave it. Leave you exactly like that, sitting sadly on your side. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, let's get to... Okay, the Eve one's just gone into low space again above Gilly, and I'm really... It's going to take 20 minutes to collect the rest of this. I'm really hoping it collects the rest of this on this pass so I can get it into an orbit that's not scaring the bejeebers out of me. But I'm, I'm actually on the Eve landers, which is on a higher orbit, just so that I can time warp. Honestly, I think regardless, we're talking very... Oh, oh, why, why that? Oh, I just lost the signal. We just lost the signal and we are now out of high space. Or out of low space around Gilly. But what I was looking at is I think it picked up so much. I think I'm going to put it into a better orbit. I think, I think I'm done with this low space stuff about Gilly. So let's push it up to 50 kilometers. And then we'll turn on the scan sat. Going to here, we can turn on both of these two scan sats. This will probably fill the hard drive pretty quick, but it will start mapping. Gilly, okay, the electricity is still good, but it's probably going to fill this hard drive up in no time. All right, so we got this teeny tiny little burn to put us in about a 64 by 64 kilometer orbit. Makes it look like you're super high above Gilly, but it's only because Gilly is so freaking small. And that should be a nice orbit for doing the the scanning that it's doing. And if we take a look at ScanSat here, there is our bio map. Oh, I love all the orbital dancing that's going on right now. Um, you can see how it gets wider because as we get further. So now we're out further. It should do a nice bio map. And we also have a altimetry map. Again, coming up here, 
Shouldn't take too long to map all Gilly, to be quite honest, but this is now complete. There we go. I'm good with that. Uh, how's our solar panels? Okay, we can, we can definitely do better. And this is going to be this thing's home for a while. Until we're ready to put it around... Around Eve. But that's going to be... Still a ways into the future. Well, maybe not that much into the future. Uh, but we're going to let it map all of Gilly first, and then we'll put it around Eve, and then this thing will be done. It has done everything that it can do, but uh, that is happy for now. Um, I think, actually, to be honest, everything is kind of happy for now until we get out to here and then we're gonna see if I can finally get that Eve capture. Just here in the VAB I think I may have found out the source of my issues. So here is the Eve one and if you take a look between the probe and this uh, carrier stage here 4,288 meters per second of total Delta V that went on its way to Eve but if I open up my Eve landers if we take a look here, 3,259 meters per second, I mean just over a thousand meters per second less. I think some more I forgot to carry the one with this one, <laughs> I think is really the issue, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, let's get back to it. While we're out here, why don't we actually spend this 851 units of science now this is really me thinking more about next season next season I want to get into crafts uh, I want to get into really developing and harvesting the resources that are in the curb and system and really building up an infrastructure of stations and bases and transports going back and forth and I think something that will really help me with that is some nuclear engines so I'm gonna definitely start that one going and that by the way kind of unlocks an entire nuclear tree with all kinds of near future stuff that uh, we'll get to in the future and I do have a number of other nodes to unlock here as well but uh, in the meantime let's get back out to Gilly oh 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 we might we might be done we might be done our biome scan definitely looks like we're done the biome scan oh there's still little spots here well we'll keep time warping I mean there's no rush I still got my ghillie landers I do want to keep an eye on them because they're gonna be done at some point too oh okay okay just got my ghillie lander here so a little bit oh it's getting close to that seismic scan I can see that now when it hits when this is done, I'm going to, uh, the communications is pretty sketchy. It's dependent on both this relay and the relay being able to relay the signal back to Kerbin. It's working. Okay, we just lost signal again. I'm just going to wait for it to come back. Why don't I do this from here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We got our signal back. And this is done. It's gotten all of the seismic science. Yes. Okay. So I think what I should do is get myself to that Gilly Lander right now. Oh, 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 oh. We got bumped. <laughs> We're going up. Going up at four meters per second. Okay, that's it. But, um, well, it's, our seismic scan was... Let's get up that biomap really fast. Biomap, biomap, biomap. Okay, here we go. So there's our Gilly biomap. There's only three biomes we've done. This is Highlands. We, there's the other one. Let's go to low... And I want to go west. Like, yeah. No, east. I want to go east. Let's go to this one. This is a patch of lowlands. East and somewhat north. Let's let's do this thing. Okay. While we're going up, rather than landing again, let's just get this done. So RCS on. Let's throttle. There we go. In fact, bring it right over. I don't want to. Uh, let's not get carried away. There we go. 
Okay, we're bringing our trajectory over. We want to get over to here. Honestly, I think we can pitch right down. I don't think gravity is too much of an issue. Got so much monopropellant, I don't think it's going to be a worry. And let's cut. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. What are Apple Apps? Or Apple Apps is 5.8 kilometers, but we're already at 5.3, so we're not actually going that high. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we're going for here. This should work. You can see I got my terrain textures working again. <laughs> it's been on and off a bit of an adventure. We're actually going. There's the other Eve Lander. The Eve Lander, not the other Gilly Lander. And if we end up going too close to the surface, we can always, like everything's going so slow, I'm pretty sure we can rescue. Fortunately, there is no time warping. I do want to pay attention to connection, but I'm pretty sure we're good. So here's, we're going this way. This is our relay, which is going in orbit around this way. So we should be able to stay pretty much under it. And the relay is going to have a good connection with Kerbin for a while. This is why I wanted to go towards the east as opposed to the other way. Also, I can notice it's light over that way. We're actually landing not too far away from the Eve Knot. The Eve Lander Knot. We're going to be up that way. Okay. Well, we'll just have to wait till we're there. And you can see that our Gilly map is pretty much done. Our bio map, our altimetry map is done. There's the altimetry map for uh, for Gilly. Unfortunately, if I bring up the science here, this is a this is just a a, a thing about. Kerbalism and Scansat not quite getting... Oh, it's not even... I gotta go filtered by research. I gotta turn that off even though I have research. But if I go to multispectral analysis and look at Gilly, you look here, I've only collected 40% of it. Um, there's still 79 science apparently still there. But if I take a look at Kerbin, apparently I've only collected half... Like, these fractions don't even make sense looking at the numbers. There's still a lot of Kerbin, and that altimetry scanner above Kerbin's been at it forever, and it's so it's never going to get this science. So I'm kind of thinking I probably will never get this science either. So I'm thinking once this is out of the way, I might shuffle my mapping satellite into its orbit about Eve and get that started. Then this thing will land in the lowlands, and it's got to do one more seismic scan, and then. Uh, we can move our relay along with its last Eve lander and hopefully get it going towards Eve. Let's take a look. I've done a lot of time warping. How is our Gilly orbit in reference to Eve now? Are we out? Oh, we've actually gone past our Apple Apsis. We're on our way back. That's okay because we're going to need to spend some time collecting seismic data. So it's right around here. I'd like to make my ejection. But anyway, first things first. Getting ourselves ready here. We are starting to come down pretty... Uh, uh, we're very, very... I might just give myself a little bit of uppitude here. Just a little bit of uppitude. I just don't... I don't want to actually go up, but just a little bit of arresting some of my vertical velocity here. We're very close to the lowlands. We are in lowlands now. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to arrest this velocity, our horizontal velocity here. Let's just punch this. So all our velocity is horizontal. There we go. Still 100 meters above the surface. Our vertical velocity is very low. There we go. All right, we're under 100 meters from the surface, and we're almost going, just about going straight down. Let's see my shadow. What's our slope below us? 13 degrees, almost 14 degrees. Uh, not that that's a big deal. 
because um, if it falls over, it falls over, whatever. <laughs> None of that matters. All right, we are coming closer. How's our speed's only two meters per second. We're good. We'd probably hit and bounce even if I did nothing. Let's slow down a little bit. Okay, we're under 15 meters here. Whoa. Again, we'll do a little bit of reverse thrusting right at the end here just to sort of stick it a little bit. There we go. Okay, RCS off. Take off those reaction wheels, see if we can get it to sit on all those landing legs. Okay. And all of our science is now running in our new biome. And this is our last one. We, uh, yeah, we, after this, we have exhausted, exhausted, man, but of course it's going to take 15 days to get that, well, more than 15 days because of, uh, light shortages and communication blackouts and the like, but, uh, it's going to get her done, isn't it? So we'll let that all collect, and what we will do is see what we can do with the EVE-1. Actually, our orbit in terrible... So you would like, if you're in a polar orbit like this, to make your ejection when the plane of your orbit is in the same plane or the same line as uh, Eve's, or in this case, Gilly's orbit about Eve. But this thing has a crap ton of delta V, so I'm not sure how much it even matters. It's time for this bro to say goodbye to Gilly. Start doing some work around Eve. Notice it's, this guy has transmitted a total of 461.8 credits. So as far as science goes, this one is pretty good. I do have a contract. I should pull this up. The Eve one does have a contract. It's already done the Gilly scan, but it needs to do a scan about Eve and I got a very specific orbit to do but we'll deal with that later we're only a few minutes from booting out of Gilly's SOI so we're gonna adjust our inclination here and um, this says we should have it in around 88 degrees um, the might experiment insists it has to be at least 70 so I'm gonna set it for this around 88 maybe yeah about 88 degrees and I want my periapsis into low space with Eve. We'll collect all kinds of the low space science that we can. I know that's not what the parameters here say, but then we will adjust our orbit accordingly. And like I said, we got tons of Delta B, so that isn't going to be an issue. How many burns is left in this thing? This thing's getting down and ignitions, only three left, but there's a whole probe with 1200 meters per second above this thing so when this engine dies I still got a lot okay we are dipping our periapsis obviously into Eve there a little bit all right final inclinations close enough to 88 degrees final periapsis with 350 oh, that's perfect I like that I like that a lot Okay, and we should be starting to collect mite experiments now. We are, and it's only going to take 12 minutes to collect it all, so that's cool. And this is not biome specific, right? No, I think this is just space high, yep. Okay, so good, good, good. So next, we need to just circularize down here at periapsis. I think I'm going to do this one manually because uh, I'm going to have to stage partway through it. 
This is gonna be the end of this stage. It's only got 588 meters per second left. Okay, let's go. Very little bouncy bounce that happens with that. I'm sure you've noticed it. All right, so this little engine did its job. We're gonna stage it and whoop, we gotta get ready. What's that? There we go. Okay, and stage, stage, there we go. It's on a trio of those spider engines. Throttle here. Just a little some more. Okay, just get ready to cut it. Doesn't have to be too precise. It's good enough. Okay, cut that. So we are now in near space for our entire orbit. And we're gonna leave it here to collect. It's gonna be collecting a lot of that mite science. I think the site science is just space low, but I believe the mite has got a lot to do. So yeah, it's gotta collect all of this stuff over all of these biomes. Uh, yeah, that's gonna take it a little while. So we'll leave it here for a little while. Let it collect more and more science for us. All right, Um, how is our Gillylander doing? And it's not so much, the reason why I gotta wait on the Gillylander is because um, I wanna move that relay, but the Gillylander is very much dependent upon the relay to send its science home. Oh, there's another chunk of that impact ejecta. A little bit more, it's getting close. Under three days left on the seismic scan. It's a race. Oh, oh, okay. We know who just won the race. Now, this has now collected all of the low science that it can. Let's get back to the Eve one. It is all done. It's a little dizzy, but it's done. <laughs> so now we got to get out our contract. And we want to increase our... Apoapsis up to let's call that 455. Not much. So that's just a 50 meter per second burn, and we circularize up here, and that should meet these orbital parameters. And we are running now the site experiment, which is good again. Oh no, that one is biome specific. So we now we have a biome specific one in high space, so that's awesome. More science to get, but we're really interested in is getting these orbital parameters here for the contract right and then we can start our scanners after that we should be lovely lovely all right and if these go green that should be it for burns for this thing there we go awesome Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, how are, we'll just rotate this for the solar panels once again. And now we can turn on our ScanSat devices, our low res altimeter and our multi-spectral analyzer. And once we've scanned 50%, oh, just with the altimetry scanner, uh, then this contract is complete. So that only leaves one last thing to worry about. <laughs> Where are we? We're actually in a pretty darn good spot here. Uh, we got to wait on, of course, our Eve lander. We can't, our Gilly lander. We can't abandon that. It is still got a couple of days worth of scanning to do. So we'll just let it do its thing. The Gilly lander here has now completed its seismic scan. We've gotten all the science out of Gilly that we have available to get. So what we're gonna do now is see if we cannot finally put that E. Now we're not in a bad spot, we're up pretty high. Let's see if we can do this. So we still got 206, no, I'm gonna believe Kerbal Engineer here because it's giving me the bigger number. So I'm believing what I want to believe. But according to Kerbal Engineer, I have 268 meters per second left, so let's push this out so I, I should be able to there's 198 meter per second burn 
That burn's coming up in 38 minutes, so we'll deal with that. I would love to bring my Apoapsis as low as I can, but even if I can't bring it much lower, what I can do is drop the probe. The probe has a little bit of Delta V, more than enough to put this Periapsis down into the atmosphere. And then, uh, you know, we can hope for the best. <laughs> it's going to be a hot, hot fall, but we'll see how it goes. Um, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's get to this burn. So it's time for this guy now to say goodbye to Gilly. Say goodbye to our two landers sitting there on the surface. This is meant to be a la two landers on Eve. Hopefully we still can put one lander on Eve. That is the plan. Whether it works, I don't know. Okay, burn is complete. Seven seconds, seven meters per second here, 10 meters per second there. I don't know which one's right. Clearly, it really doesn't make much of a difference. Rubbing off 10 meters per second off of isn't going to matter. Okay, so let's detach this probe. Okay, and then we're going to... There we go. There's our probe. right out of there okay. we are on a little bit of retrograde so let's just yeah we're gonna just nudge it away okay we'll open up these we're going to get our communitron ready to go our smart part should handle most stuff but yeah okay so our periapsis height is 94. i would like that to be i don't know <laughs> well let's turn on trajectories we'll try and use this as a guide i have no idea how much delta v is in this thing i think it's a fair amount Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what I want to see. So, center this on E. It's not taking a lot of burning to get that. I think I must have had something wrong. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's going to be what it's going to be. We, At the very least, we're going to get explosions. The issue is, as well, that I do want to land on this pass because I need that relay, right? So can't do the old here. Let's reduce. I think if I go to here, take off some of these patches there. Um, I do want to land on this pass because I need the signal from that relay. Okay. Oh, we're coming out of the atmosphere and then going back down. I see what that is. What's our periapsis at now? 67 kilometers. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go with this one. So we're going to come through the atmosphere. We're going to come out and then we're going to come back down and land. It's picking a landing spot there. Uh, whether that's a good landing spot or a bad landing spot. I don't know. Don't care. But it's going to be what it's going to be. This could go so badly. Whew, here we go. <laughs> this is it. This is going to be our last mission of this season. And it's going to go spectacularly well or a spectacular failure. And I'm not placing bets either way. Okay, retracting the antenna and retracting primary base we are now a can we still have a good signal excellent so it's just picking up the antenna that's in the probe body is giving us here we go so i still have some i still have control which is awesome i did test this in kerbin 
uh, with a thinner atmosphere and not nearly this much speed. We are in a plasma blackout now. Keep track of that up later. I have no control, so if this thing flips around the wrong way, I'm done. Far so good. So far it is holding that retrograde vector. In Kerbin's atmosphere, what if you oriented it prograde, it would stay prograde, and if you oriented it retrograde, it would stay retrograde. So it's all about the way in which you hit that atmosphere. So that's why you want to have control when you come in. This is going pretty... Oh, don't jinx it. Nope, 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 not gonna say anything. Uh, I don't like that you're... Oh, wait, surface, surface retrograde. It's drifting a little bit off, which I don't like. We're starting to come back up, so that means the heating should be starting to decrease rather than increase, and we didn't even get any gauges or anything. That is just awesome. So here we go. Uh, we might get control back again. Yeah, we got control again. Still a good solid signal. Oh no, I just realized something too. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We have... Oh, we collected a ton of science. We are not transmitting it though. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get ready with this. Um, that. We're not... It filled up the whole hard drive with science. And we are just about to come out of the atmosphere, so we're going to see what we can transmit away. Extend that antenna. There we go. This wasn't part of the plan, but actually this is working out pretty well that we're outside of the atmosphere. We can get rid of some of this science. I do have a contract. Uh, I'm not sure if this thing's counting towards it. It was part of the Cariner 1 contract. Um, to collect science from low or from um, Eve's upper atmosphere, which this thing is doing, it didn't succeed because although it did collect a little bit of science, it did not collect a huge ton of it. Okay, I am noticing my uh, apoapsis is much higher than I anticipated. That's not groovy. That's okay, I guess. Maybe that's for the best, I don't know. Our signal is still good. So I'm gonna have to keep a close track on that signal. Oh, let's, um, let's point this thing at the sun. Just for the solar panels. All right, trash can of doom. I still do have, um, what does trajectories now say? Open up trajectories. It's now predicting a landing. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it. I'm about to say I do have fuel aboard. I am worried about not having a signal when I come around this way though. I should have wrote a KOS script just to lock it onto retrograde. Um heck can't we do that right now <laughs> we're gonna have to edit we got to give this a name lock <laughs> so edit lock and that creates a program here lock steering two and there is a surface retrograde rsf retrograde uh before i do that i should say turn to sas off okay let's save that Okay, and then we'll go back to our ship here. And does this work? If I go to here and type run uh, lock. Uh, program ended, nothing happened. I think what's happening here is the program's just ending right away. So what I think I will do is just put in a um, 
infinite loop here. <laughs> Wait until false. So that's an infinite loop. It'll just stay locked to the surface retrograde vector until I abort the program. And there it goes, and it's stuck in an infinite loop. It's going to lock it onto that surface retrograde vector for forever. Okay, I, I'm, that's exciting. Okay, okay, so we're going to exit that, but I can just control C, and that aborts the program. So that program is raring to go. So what I am concerned with is signal, obviously. If I lose this line of sight, or if this gets too far away... Uh, we're in trouble. This thing shouldn't be a lander anymore. That's just purely a relay. Okay, we are we are going to lose line of sight here very soon, aren't we? Yeah, okay, so no more messing about. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our program here. We're going to run it. We're going to run that lock program. That should lock it to the surface retrograde vector. We're going to go in here. We're going to retract... Our antenna and we're going to oh I just lost that okay um, I can't retract primary oh the, okay somehow I can still retract primary base now the um, relay is too far away for it to be able to pick up on the on just the antenna built into the probe body so now this thing truly is completely on its own Okay, we are in the atmosphere. It is reorienting itself to that surface retrograde vector. I have no control over it whatsoever. And here we go once again, but this should be the last one. And this really shouldn't be as severe now that we've gone through once, I would think. It should be a little calmer. Well, in theory, anyway. <laughs> this is still, I don't know, it doesn't feel calmer, that's for sure. We are very quickly running out of a blader, though. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Come on, hang on. I'm getting no information as far as whether it's collecting science or not. It should be. But that's because I have no communication with it. And Kerbalism's not going to tell you nothing if you don't have communication with it. Oh, we're starting to go back up again. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. I'm wondering if a, a more aggressive descent would have been better. Now that I'm watching this. I think the trajectory's predictions have been off because I had the doors open. And that probably affected the uh, prediction. Losing a lot of velocity, but we are now out. Oh, we're just about out of a blader. We are out of a blader. This is where things start getting scary. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, no sense looking at that. That's just gonna. Do well, actually, if we get to the point where we are doing a landing, I wouldn't mind getting rid of that. I don't think we're coming out of the atmosphere though. So right now things are calming down because we're on our way back up. But I'm looking at our apoapsis and I think I think that's a signal we've just gone. I think yeah, our apoapsis is now in the atmosphere, so this thing is not going back up, but it's going to start heating up again once it starts falling. Let's time warp a little bit. Get this over with.
to our electricity situation. Electricity situation is good. We have a milestone of some kind. We have entered into atmospheric flight above Eve, if you say so. <laughs> if you want to give me that, I'll take it. Okay. We are still on our way up. And now we are back on our way down. We never did leave the atmosphere. But, I mean, we are losing speed. This is still very fast, though. I mean, this is still faster than, you know, um, LKO velocities around Kerbin. Low orbital velocities around Kerbin are, are, high, are lower than that. So, and we're going in now without a blader. <gasps> ah. Oh, that's the wrong. This one? Yeah, oh, I had my temperature gauges disabled. Now they're enabled. That's uh, almost certainly the heat shield. How tough is a heat shield when it doesn't have any blader left? That is the question. I'm not, well, I don't want to say anything, but I don't see this bar really climbing. In fact, I could be convinced it might be going down. Could it be? Could it be? I have no idea where we're going to land either. Clearly I didn't. <laughs> it gets down to the surface. I'm going to be excited. Oh, we are pulling G's though. We are pulling the G's. Come on, hold together, hold together. Oh! Oh, our speed has gotten very, very low. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. All right. We are now descending through Eve's atmosphere. I can't remember what I set the smart parts at. A lot lower than this, I can tell you that, because... Oh, there goes the parachute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I think we're going to land in a lake. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I think we are landing in a lake. Now this contract could be kind of borked. But I'm going to check to see if I happen to... I mean, I can check on this while we're going down. If I take a look at Eve... Let's take a look at, for instance, the t uh, temperature scan. That's not a very high... It did do all that. So if I take a look at Eve... Here we go. Look at all of these bodies. I, oh, it has the entire temperature scan uh, completed. It just has to transmit it. So if it gets down there and that relay comes around, it should transmit it. There's also a telemetry report. In my mind, if it gets off all of one of these uh, science experiments, I'm going to I'm going to call that. I'm going to call it and say it's it's completed this contract. That's what I'm going to say. I got a feeling it's not going to on its own. I might have to force the issue. Okay, this is it's going to make it to the surface. Certainly looks like that. The question is now are the smart parts going to do their job? Oh, there it goes. 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 Okay. So that is good. That is good. Now, we should be starting to see things like these open up all on their own. Oh, that's, uh, didn't expect that. <laughs> they did open. I didn't expect that. Okay, that's good. That's good. That means the smart part did its thing. We should also see the communitron deploy at some point as well as those landing legs. We are most certainly going slow enough. Oh, well, now I can look at the smart part. That one's done it. That was the heat shield hitting the ground. Oh, that one. Oh, look at that. See that? Oh, I have a signal. Gear. Gear. I don't know why I put gear. I just like them because I like the way they sneak out of the slots. Oh, that is so exciting. So I do have 
I have I have uh, communication now, so we should see me. What is going on here? Probably our hard drive is full of information, yeah, and it's got to transmit all this. It's transmitting it away ever so slowly. But I don't care. This is a win as far as I'm concerned. But I think we got this. Oh, we're almost there. I don't want it to land on the antenna. Don't break the antenna, don't break the antenna, don't break the antenna. That's all I care about. Oh, it's, are you just going to float here like this? You are just going to float here like this. I love that. Yes. Okay, you just float here like this. I am a, such a happy, happy, happy camper. I don't know what to say. <laughs> And I think this is going to end this season. Uh, this probe has a lot to do, but all of it, it can do just sort of on its own. I'm going to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in a month or two for season three.